the splendor of a king. Welcome back to Weekdays with Jesus and John. Open your Bibles to John chapter 18. John chapter 18. We read yesterday and saw yesterday where Peter denied Jesus. We talked about the times that we also deny Jesus by our action or inaction, by our words or lack thereof. And we pray for that forgiveness. And I pray that you and I will be stronger, that we will not deny Jesus. But as we turn back to what's going on here with Jesus, he is on trial. Now, all these trials are illegal, and we won't get into that. It's not following the procedures that should be followed. But as I'm looking at these stories, as I'm looking, I'm looking at Jesus before the high priest. I'm looking at him before Pilate and Jesus' statements to Pilate. Let's go to John chapter 18 and verse 19. John 18 and verse 19. Then the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching, and Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in the synagogues and in the temple where all Jews come together. I have said nothing in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. They know what I said. When he had said these things, one of the officers standing by struck Jesus with his hand, saying, Is that how you answer the high priest? Jesus answered him, If what I said was wrong, bear witness about the wrong. But if what I said is right, why do you strike me? Annas then sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Verse 28. Then they led Jesus from the house of Caiaphas to the governor's headquarters. It was early morning, and they themselves did not enter the governor's headquarters, so that they would not be defiled, but could eat the Passover. So Pilate went outside them and said, What accusation to bring against this man? They answered him, If this man were not doing evil, we would not have delivered him over to you. There's no real answer there, is there? And Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and judge him by your own law. And the Jews said to him, It is not lawful for us to put anyone to death. This was to fulfill the word that Jesus had spoken to show what kind of death he was going to die. Verse 33, So Pilate entered his headquarters again and called Jesus to him and said, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this of your own accord, or did others say it to you about me? And Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priest have delivered you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would, would have been fighting that I might not be delivered over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not from this world. Pilate answered, or Pilate said to him, So you are a king? And Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this purpose I was born, and for this purpose I have come into the world, to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth listens to my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? And, he, and after he had said this, he went back outside of the Jews and told them, I find no guilt in him, but you have a custom that I should release one man for you at the Passover. So who do you want me to release to you, the king of the Jews? And they cried out, No, not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. We're going to stop right there. There are two things that I want to point out. The first thing is what Jesus says. My kingdom is not of this world. That has become a theme for me, uh, for, for my life, and, and many times for my preaching. Because I think as Christians, we sometimes, and by we, I mean me, sometimes get so focused on the life that we live here, that we forget that this life isn't really what our life is about. That our life in Christ is not about this world. Our life in Christ is about Him, and that is not this world. Paul would say this, for our citizenship is in heaven. And from there we await our Savior. We await our God. Is our citizenship here or is it in heaven? Am I a citizen of the earth or am I a citizen of God's kingdom? If I'm a child of God, I'm in God's kingdom. I've been translated out of this world and of darkness and, and transferred into the kingdom of his dear son. I live there. That's who I am. So the things of this world, I really should not be partakers of them. John would say, do not love the world or the things in the world. Love the things of God. And then Jesus would talk about truth, and Pilate would ask that question, what is truth? Let me answer that simply. The truth is Christ. The truth is what he says. And are we living in that truth that is not this world, but is the truth that is Christ? Thank you for joining us. Let's close our time together with a prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for your blessings. We thank you for your care. Father, help us to lose 
to, to lessen our focus on this world and to focus our life on you, solely on you and on your son, and to live in that spirit that you have given us. Father, help us to have that dedication, to have that focus. Help us to live in your truth, because we know that your word is truth. Thank you again for Jesus, and it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining us as we have spent time with Jesus and John. I'm looking forward to these. I hope you are as well. And until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. Lord in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice.